We're going to talk about the Pixel 4a and possibly the Pixel 4a XL, which might be the Pixel 4a 5G. Google should have had this Pixel 4a out, uh, what? two months ago, two plus months ago. I don't know. Apparently this phone is going to be coming out uh, sooner than, or at least we have a date confirmed kind of, maybe, possibly. <laughs> so it says here, uh, almost a quarter overdue, the Pixel 4a might finally have a launch date, but even the choice of that date feels questionable. The Pixel 3a launched in May last year. And so that's when we assumed the Pixel 4a would launch this year, sometime in May. I understand with the pandemic, everything is changing and things are getting delayed, but uh, it's almost August and we still haven't heard anything about this Pixel 4a. So it says here, the Pixel 4a would have launched on that month as well. The world, unfortunately, is far from normal, and it was not unthinkable that the Pixel 4a would be delayed. It was, however, disappointing to realize it's already delayed by two months. It could have been worse with some rumors pointing to an October launch alongside the Pixel 5. And I think that's the worst case scenario here. Out of anything, the latest that this phone would launch would probably be sometime in October. Nobody wants that. I don't think anybody wants that. Unless you're hard pressed for money and you don't have the money for a Pixel 4a right now, then yeah, maybe October is fine for you. But I think for the rest of the world, uh, a lot of us want to see that Pixel 4a yesterday, the other day, last week, last month. We've been waiting for this phone. I've been waiting for this phone, especially if it comes out at a $350 price point. But I'm going to talk about that in a second as well. Now, at least there's word that the cheaper uh, Pixel will be coming in less than two weeks. August 3rd is the final date that John Processor has given, the first Monday of the month. It's also two days before Samsung's Unpack 2020 event. And then this Samsung Unpack 2020 event is when they'll be debuting the Galaxy Note 20. By the way, is anyone getting a Galaxy Note 20 or is it on their radar at all? Just curious. Processor does pose the more serious question at this point in time, especially after the OnePlus Nord's announcement. The Pixel 4a may have already lost part of its appeal. I'm going to get into all of this in a second. Then again, no phone other than the late Essential has ever matched the Pixel speed in Android updates, but that advantage may have become almost negligible considering the growing list of hardware issues that Google's phones have exhibited over the years and generations. So a lot of this, there are a lot of points to, 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 to put out here. And a lot of this article is actually, I feel like this article was pretty well done because Google put itself in this situation. I, I don't, None of us here know unless people know someone that works at Google and they're getting insider whatever, or if somebody's watching this and they work for Google and they know how all of this works. But I think all of us feel very similarly. Google shot themselves in the foot. They did this to themselves delaying the Pixel 4a when they could have released it sometime in May or maybe even June. If they released it in early June, maybe, you know, things would have been different. But we have to we have to think about what's happened here. So people were waiting for this Pixel 4a, it didn't come. And then the iPhone SE came out, the, the 2020 iPhone SE, which yes, it's not, it's not an Android phone, but it is a cheap new iPhone that has the fastest you know, processor in it that has an actually really good camera. I also have videos on that. If any of you would like to check those out, I have camera comparisons against the Pixel 4, against uh, the iPhone 11 Pro, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that phone came out at a $400 price point and it pretty much ate up that market in that $400 price point. Still, no Pixel 4a. I mean, I would have loved if it came out a couple weeks later and said, hey, you know, we want to compete too. Here is our $350. Here is our $400 phone uh, in an Android version that can compete, but that didn't happen. And then now, uh, was it last week? Sometime last week, the OnePlus Nord came out. Uh, well, in India specifically at a under $400 price point, the OnePlus Nord came out. And this was their version of a mid-range or $400-ish phone that could compete in that market. And so now iPhone SE, OnePlus Nord, and now the Pixel 4a wants to be in this race, or maybe it wants to be in this race, or maybe it won't. Maybe it'll still come out in October for whatever reason. Either way, it's a little late. 
Someone like me is still waiting for this phone. Someone like me will still purchase this phone if I have the money. <laughs> I, I still want to dive into this phone and see what it's capable of. The, the the main the main reasons people are still waiting for this phone i think there are three main reasons here one it's it's i'm trying to <laughs> put the camera here one it's a google phone right you're going to get a pure google experience you're going to get stock android you're not going to have any kind of skins on it two the camera the camera at this price point will rival pretty much I think any other phone at this price point, the iPhone SE will give it a good run for its money, but I believe the pixel 4a will still have the better camera than the iPhone SE. Will it have a better camera than the Nord? Most, most certainly. I, I'm pretty sure the iPhone SE probably has a better camera than the OnePlus Nord. I had a third point. Oh, <laughs> the third point uh, of getting a pixel 4a is the fact that you're going to get uh, updates like Slash Gear pointed out here. You're gonna get updates for Android quicker than any other phone. And you can get it at a great price. My hope is that this phone will still price at $350. My hope is that you can get a Pixel 4a, if it comes out August 3rd, which would be excellent, Pixel 4a, Snapdragon 730 chipset, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs, excellent camera, $350. Let's hope 350 because I feel at this point, if they really want to compete now, if they want to beat the iPhone SE, go ahead and undercut that. Go ahead and under, oh man, I think I said the wrong word there. <laughs> go ahead and undercut the price at $350. That's how you're going to get some sales out of this phone for sure, for sure.